Well, my name is Howard Tanner. Uh, I've been in the service of Michigan for quite some time. I served as Director of Natural Resources and I'm the former Chief of the Fisheries Division. And I've gone on in years in retirement. I'm, I'm now 91 years old, but I'm still very interested and still very active and looking for ways that we can pass the legacy that, that was developed in our generations uh, on into the proper activities of, of future generations. That's really what uh, Project FISH is all about, is to develop an opening and an interest and awareness and the knowledge of the outdoors behind us. It's particularly important in the state of Michigan. We have th this vast amount of water to enjoy and to, and to profit from. Uh, but we also are the people who must take care of it. And it is something to be cherished. It is, it is something so unusual. Our legacy of whatever we did correct in the past, uh, our opportunity to pass that legacy on is to the generations of tomorrow. That's really what, what Project FISH is all about. It, we're using fish, uh, fishing experience, but it is to create an, an opening, an awareness of, of the great water system that is all about us as two peninsulas. Uh, I want to make sure that everybody understands the elements of Project FISH. It's, it's the teaching of teachers, it's the experience in the classroom, awareness of the life cycle of the salmon, and the stocking of the salmon, and the fishing experience. So those things together uh, all spell out Project FISH. Uh, friends in sport fishing heritage. Some 180,000 kids have gone through this program. Some 1,300 volunteers have, have been built into the system that provides that. But perhaps equally important is the teaching of teachers. Teachers come together in a, in a learning network, into workshops, into day-long programs in which they acquire additional skills on how to create an awareness amongst these grade school children. It grabs me when I see pictures, when, I see, when I've been there actually. I've seen the kids in the waders. I've been there watching, them, watching their thrill. Uh, I've, I've seen pictures of them in the classroom. Their six months care of salmon eggs to the point of release uh, is a day-to-day -day ongoing experience that, that they're going to remember. It's important to know that, that Project FISH has a, has, a, has a home at Michigan State University in the Department of Fisheries and Wildlife. It is the central part of, of where people are being trained for careers tomorrow. And so uh, it is entirely proper that this is where Project FISH is located. We need to put a financial base under this project that will assure its future. And it has gone on from a variety of sources for some 17 years now. But our goal now is to is a raise of funds sufficient to provide in the form of an endowment and perform in terms of interest to substantially support uh, a core budget. I'm a graduate of Michigan State University a long, long time ago. Uh, I'm, I've served there as an administrator and as a professor. I'm now an adjunct professor in my retirement. Uh, that's where my ties are. That's where I see our allies. That's where I find a language that we understand as we need to pursue uh, the development of the legacy of tomorrow. And the largest one, let me get it out of here. Oh, God, oh, oh. There it is. <laughs> okay, you see that dorsal fin up there? It's separated from this fin back here. All right, notice that? It's got that barring pattern on them. That is a yellow perch, okay? This one here looks like this big one, doesn't it? Steelhead. Does it? Steelhead. Steelhead? Mm, maybe. Bass? Mm. What family? Trout. You sure? Yeah. How can you tell? Because it has, uh, has the adipose fin. It has the adipose fin. That's how you tell. It's exactly how you tell. Okay? This is a rainbow trout. This is a rainbow trout. I am Mark Stevens. Uh, I'm the director of Project Fish. work for Michigan State University and the Department of Fisheries and Wildlife. And uh, I want to uh, 
first point out uh, the, the treasure that we have in Howard Tanner. The gentleman is an incredible person. He has the forethought to, uh, to have brought uh, salmon to the Great Lakes back in 1965 to alleviate a problem that we had with forage fish. Um, and, uh, and, and we now have a multi-billion dollar industry. So Howard has a vision of uh, our Great Lakes and stewardship of our Great Lakes. And that is uh, what Project Fish is all about, is creating the future Howard Tanners. Um, and uh, so that's what this project is all about. We are trying to create a fund here in the state of Michigan that will perpetuate a sport fishing and aquatic resource education program when I'm retired, when Howard's gone and I'm gone and the next guy that takes my place is gone, something perpetual because there'll always be things facing our Great Lakes. There will always be issues that need to be educated about and, uh, and, that, and Project FISH is the, the way to get to that. Get kids interested and excited and, you know, to, to get in touch with Project FISH, we have a website. Um, it is projectfish.org. If you're interested in contributing to this fund, the Project FISH Fund, there is actually a secure online link there that goes directly to an MSU source. And it's a cool fund because you, if you work for an organization that, um, that matches dollars, uh, they, you can, you, your contribution can be matched. You can dedicate it in memory of someone. You can dedicate it to a pet. You can dedicate it to somebody that you know, a good friend. So, um, you know, please do donate. It's, uh, it's important. We have been doing this for about 17 years now, and it's been piecemeal. We've been working on grants, and we've been working on some, uh, some private support, uh, but we need to perpetuate and have a sustain sustainable fund so that this program goes on in per perpetuity.